YouTubers, what's going on? It's Mike here, uh, bringing you guys an unboxing video. Uh, today's product is the uh, Arctic Cooling Accelero Extreme Plus VGA coolers. Uh, these are aftermarket graphics card coolers. Uh, I look at these as a, kind of an alternative to water cooling. Uh, I'm sure most of you know the stock reference coolers that come on on most uh, high-end video cars today are, are really the bare minimum and uh, something like this uh, gives uh, your average user a way to, to achieve much better temperatures on your cards without investing in an expensive and sometimes complicated water, water cooling system uh, so I just want to go over uh, oh also uh, I guess you can tell I got two of these. Uh, that's because I have two GTX 570s. Uh, and I'm going to be replacing the stock coolers on those uh, with these. Try and get some better temperatures. Um, so yeah, just want to go over a couple things on the box. Uh, these are compatible with a, a wide variety of graphics cards. Um, I don't know if you can see that too well, but uh, on, on your ATI side... Um, a few of your 6,000 series cards, uh, a few, few of your 5,000 series cards, definitely the uh, 5870, all the way back to the uh, 3,000 series, uh, 3850, and so forth. Um, as far as the NVIDIA side, these are uh, go as far back as the uh, 9800 GTX, uh, all the 200 series, 400 series, and now even the obviously the latest 500 series that's why I'm using them on my five five seventies um, now the thing that makes these work with uh, so many different types of graphics cards is uh, you when you purchase the cooler you also have to purchase an additional uh, heat sink and uh, video RAM uh, set and uh, depending on uh, the model of your graphics card uh, that'll determine what set you purchase um, these uh, coolers are available from a wide variety of uh, e-retailers, I guess you would call them. Um, Amazon, Newegg. Uh, I purchased these from uh, FrozenCPU.com, and they range anywhere from fifty-five to seventy-five dollars, depending on uh, what kind of deal they're running, and uh, I guess just uh, I guess really how much they just want to sell it for. Anyways, so enough of the talk in here. Let's get this out of the box so I can give you guys a, a closer look at it. How about we open up this one because I've actually already opened up this one. And the box is pretty much ready to go. Now as far as accessories, uh, you get a small installation guide. Not very detailed because it is there is so many different types of cars this goes on. Um, you have a uh, dual PWM fan controller to Molex adapter. Uh, you got uh, your four screws and washers uh, for mounting to the card. And you also have an additional PCI bracket. Uh, this is because once this cooler is installed on the graphics card, uh, your 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 card will become a three slot cooler so i guess they they include this to uh remove that in case if you have a you know blocked out one they want to you know i guess you could put this in there to allow more airflow anyway so i guess we should just go ahead and get straight to the cooler and uh first thing you'll notice is these three large fans on here these are 92 millimeter pwm fans uh, these spin, I'm going to go ahead and cheat off the box here, uh, anywhere from 900 to 2000 RPM. Um, they uh, can push as much as uh, 81 CFMs. And uh, what else? Okay, let's go over a few more physical features of, of the cooler here. Um, we also got uh, five copper heat pipes coming off the uh, block here. Uh, and coming into uh, your aluminum fins, these, these are uh, 84 in total of the aluminum fins. Um, here we have, uh, they include uh, Arctic Silver's MX4 thermal compound uh, pre-applied. Uh, 
uh, which is supposed to be uh, pretty good stuff. Um, but uh, in doing some of my research, I've uh, decided to go with the uh, Gelid GC Extreme. I'm uh, going to take this stuff off and put this on there. Uh, just uh, from what I've seen, it performs much better on a, on a GPU. Um, so, what else? Uh, as you see, you got your uh, PWM fan headers right here. So, uh, just pop off the old cooler and just pop these right in. Makes for a very clean look. Um, definitely some things to consider. Uh, if you want to upgrade to something like this, um, as I said, once this is installed on your graphics card, as you can see, this alone is very thick. With the card on there, uh, it will become a three-slot cooler, so you definitely want to make sure you have uh, adequate room. Um, luckily, uh, my not only my motherboard, but my case, uh, I have plenty of space to run not just one of these, but two of these in SLI with plenty of spacing. Um, also, it is very long. Um, the 570 and 580 come in at 10 and a half inches. This cooler is edge to edge about 11. Oh, you can't see that. Sorry, about 11 and a half inches. So definitely very long, very very long. Um, Arctic cooling claims temperatures around 36 degrees Celsius. Uh, now that is a, a little bit of an exaggeration, uh, but I am hoping to, especially under load, um, you should drop anywhere 20 to 30 degrees, which is awesome for air cooling. So, that's about it. Uh, definitely more videos to follow. going to do a an installation video and of course once the coolers are installed get it up and running and uh, show you guys some uh, temperatures um, if you have any questions just let me know and uh, I'll try to get to them thanks guys Bye.